All right, I have gotten all of my rods assembled with the lures that I would usually throw on them. This isn't this isn't all of my rods, but this is most of what I use. So I'm going to go through what the specs are on the rod, what the line size, the real gear ratio, and what I would throw on it you know, with weights and lures and stuff. All right, let's start off. Let me close this curtain. Let's start off with my little linky dinky kind of fairy wands but i still use this it, i pulled out because it's not for bass fishing but it's one of my bluegill setups and i always just have like a bobber or float and fly on this spin cast and that's just pretty much anything for bluegill this is a bluegill and crappie kind of just an ultralight i always have a little grub on there usually like a little 3 16 ounce head but i don't just use it for bluegill and crappie I'll also do what Aut Defoe calls tight lining, so I'll, I, I will use this for bass fishing when it's like super duper finicky. Oh, I forgot to do the rear. It's a five foot six Inferno field and stream rod with a crappie max reel, and the reel gear ratio is a five five two to one with eight with six pound test, and then this is. A Shimano Convergence Graphite Rod, and it is 6.6 medium action, and I'll use this for, as you can see, wacky rigging and shad wrap fishing, and it's pretty, it's fairly light, it's got a nice limber tip, and um, what do I, the, the reel is a, it's also a 5.2 to 1, and the line is 8 pound test. I love this rod. Love this rod. This is a Ducket Micro Magic 6'6 six six medium action rod. It's got a 20 pound Power Pro uh, braid, is my backing, and then a 10 pound Power Pro fluorocarbon, which is the actual diameter of 6 pound. And it is my shaky head rod. And I love shaky heads. And I love this rod. And the reel is a Fluger President. It's 10 ball bearing, so it's super duper smooth. And it is a 4 2 to 1. I've got it a little bit slower so because I'm dragging this across the rocks, but I love shaky head. You can see the limber, the limber tip on this is great. But I love this. It's a cork handle split grip. Just really lightweight, so it's good for shaking and stuff. And that's all for spinning reels and rods. Let's go to bait casters. This is a Ducket Ghost. I really like this rod too. With a old Black Max reel. Really old. Um, it's a 6 foot 8 medium heavy with a, I believe it's a moderate or fast tip. But it's pretty limber tip. It's good. Um, but I use this for pop waters. Small plugs, little small crankbaits, and occasionally I'll use it for little small spinner baits, and definitely I use it for jerk baits. And it has got 12 pound mono on it. I need to switch that over to fluorocarbon, but I haven't. Alright, this is probably, besides that shaky head rod, my second favorite rod. It is a number 8 tackle blackout. Blackout rod. Probably sound like Fluke Master. I've got all the ducats in the blackout rods but it is a seven foot medium and this one is super duper good and whippy for throwing spinner baits and tight cover and just whipping it in there as you I've, as you can see i've got a small little spinner bait on there right now but it's yeah seven foot medium action and the reel is a abu garcia silver max six four to one with 12 pound 12 pound fluorocarbon i really love that setup Back to the ducket. This is a ducket white ice rod. And this is one of the nicest. This is the nicest rod I have. It's really light. Great EVA foam grip, split grip handle. It's like fishing with a feather. It is nothing. But it is. It's a Timmy Horton model. We all know Timmy Horton. Crankbait guy. Um, 7 foot 3. Medium heavy. It's a medium heavy. But I believe it has a moderate tip. Because it is. I'll try to show you guys. It is like 
ultra flimsy. But in the backbone section, there's no budge. So I love that about this. So I use this for my big plugs, big crankbaits. And if I throw a big buzz bait, I'll throw it on this just because of the tip. But mostly I use this for football jigs and big plugs. And the reel, once again, is Abu Garcia Silver Max. Uh, six four to one with fourteen pound test. I really, lo I really like these Silver Max reels. They're only, they're only sixty bucks, but they're really smooth. That's all for that one. And then now to my broomstick handle, my beef, my meat and potatoes giant flipping stick. So as the name implies, I use it for flipping and big flipping jigs. So if I'm flipping a creature bait or a Strike King Tour Hack Attack Jig or something. That's what I'll be doing. I've got, it's a, yeah, it's a number eight tackle, another blackout, seven foot four heavy power. So it's, it has not, it's got some tip for, uh, so you can still feel, but the backbone is just solid. And then I've got Shimano Corrado. And this is a super duper nice reel. This is the nicest reel I have. And it is fast. It's a 7 2 to 1 gear ratio. Because, you know, flipping, you want to get in there and get out. And you want to, when you're in heavy cover, you want to be able to get that fish out in a hurry. Um, and the line, I've got 65 pound Power Pro braid. You, you could pull anything with this line. It's You could swing a 20 pounder into the boat. Not that I would, but that's the broomstick. And that's about all I've got for, that's what I use mainly when I'm fishing a tournament or just fun fishing. That's what I will bring to the boat. So till next time, Buzzbait King is out.